Some users have asked us for some help in deciding which Keymouse product is best for them. So this video will explain a few of the key differences in each of these products. So first we have the Keymouse Alpha. This is our flagship product, the first one we've developed. And uh, this is Keymouse Track. And this one here is Keymouse Chair Track. And each one can be used for different purposes, uh, but they all share a common goal and common theme in that the Keymouse products combine keyboard and mouse functionality into one set of devices. So basically with Keymouse Alpha, you can move it around on the desk as a mouse and you've got the keyboard at your fingertips, the Keymouse Track, your hand sits on the, the wrist and palm rest, and you've got the trackball accessible right at your thumb and the Keymouse Chair Track is basically the same thing as the Keymouse Track except it's got this cutout area here so that it can be mounted on an office chair. Uh, the Keymouse Track can also be mounted, but each of these two have a little bit different options and, and different features. So the main thing is, if you're trying to decide between the Alpha and the Track, you know, are you a, a trackball type person or a mouse type person? That's the biggest uh, factor that will distinguish which one you would want. Uh, one difference that is, is a big deal to a lot of people is that Alpha actually does not have the number row across the top. And the reason for that is the device needs to be able to move around the desk easily as a mouse. And while you're gripping the mouse, you, you really can't uh, move your hand off the grip and still be able to use the mouse at the same time anyway. So having it lightweight and having it easy to move around the desk is the primary reason that we remove the numbers from the top just and for size. So both the left and the right hand operate as a mouse and we've got other videos explaining uh, how you can program it to, to do what you need. And on the track, we have the, number, the numbers across the top here. It's a more complete keyboard because you don't need to you move it around the desk like, like our Alpha product. So in this one, you know, we've got the keys at the thumb, just like on the Alpha. You've got the trackball here, and everything's fully programmable on all of our devices. So using our Keymouse software, you can take any key or button and, and program it to whatever you want, including like the scroll wheel and, uh, you know, even the mouse motion. So you can program like when you move the mouse up or down, it's sending uh, arrow keys or things like that. A lot of customizability. Uh, the Alpha actually has a scroll wheel on it, and you've got your mouse buttons here. On the track, there, there is no scroll wheel, but you actually access it when you hold function blue. The trackball actually operates as a scroll wheel, and it actually works quite well. We've used this a lot ourselves, and uh, we have many customers using them. It's actually quite nice. So when you push like function yellow, for example, rotating the trackball operates as a volume control by default. And again, that's all fully customizable. So on the alpha, your mouse buttons are, are here. So you access them with your thumb. Uh, some people actually like to grip right here. So we don't have buttons across the front. So you just, you just move it around like this. You've got all the keys. And, and even though this does not have the, the numbers across the top here, just a quick side note, you have access using the function yellow and the function blue to a uh, number pad and the arrow keys here. And it's actually quite fast to, to switch between arrows and uh, numbers. So on the track, you do have those, those here, but honestly, like when I'm using the track, because it's so much faster to access the, with the function yellow and the function blue to access the numbers and the arrows, I don't even use this top row. And I, I am a programmer myself, so I know a lot of programmers really want that and I know what that's like. But after learning this layout on the Alpha, which is our first product, then whenever I use the track, I don't even use those anyway because it's so much faster. Um, a couple of differences on the track. I showed you how, to, how you, you've got the mouse buttons here on alpha. On the track, you've got two buttons here. You've also got two buttons here 
So when you pull your fingers towards you like a trigger action, those are also programmed to mouse buttons by default. And you also have what we call the post button, which is a button between the U, uh, the U, Y, H, and J. It's right there. You push right between. That is also programmed to a mouse click by default. So the reason we put that there is because when you want to click and hold and drag, you, you know you don't want to have to you know kind of pinch really. So that key is also fully programmable as well. So you have one on the left left side and right side. So that's that's the the main thing between key mouse track and key mouse alpha. You know there's a bit difference in size. Oh, I forgot to mention the alpha is painted with a special coating. It's kind of a rubber grip, soft touch coating because we want to add grip so you can move it around the desk more easily. The track has no paint coating. It's just uh, it's just straight off the 3D printer. So pretty much uh, we're manufacturing these using 3D printing. So we for the alpha we actually have some finishing processes and painting processes we run those through, uh, primering, etc. On the chair track, it's basically the same as the track except you know it's got this cutout in the bottom here, and you'll notice that it is perforated. We have those these holes here, and those holes are for use with our mounting brackets. This, this one's kind of scratched up a little bit, but uh, we've got some mounting brackets we've designed that you actually strap to a chair using Velcro, and you can actually mount it under the track or the chair track or on our platform. So we've got lots of mounting options. But basically, you'll need the chair track if the arm of your chair is, is long enough that that basically you want this closer to your arm without having it raised up on the arm of your arm of your uh, office chair. So if the arm of your chair is short enough that the track can sit in front of it, completely in front of it, without having having this be an obstruction, then a key mouse track will work just fine mounting to a chair. If you want to mount it permanently, you can mount it using our brackets. If you want to mount it uh, to where it's removable, you would mount the bracket to the platform and then just let your key mouse track or chair track sit on the platform. So anyway, that's some of the key differences. You know, in summary, if you're more of a mouse type person, you very likely would want a key mouse alpha. If you're more of a trackball type person, you would want a track. But uh, if the having the full keyboard is a big deal to you, you know, switching to a track might be an option for you. It's actually quite nice uh, using two trackballs. So I'm more of a mouse type of guy, but uh, it's quite tempting when you have two trackballs. You know, you don't even though you're you're some people are frustrated that you have to reset your thumb position. You, and on a mouse, you've got a more continuous flow. When you have two of them, you can alternate. So while you know while this thumb is resetting, you can keep the cursor moving with this thumb. So there's some really cool options you have, and uh, you might even be interested in switching to a track, even if you're a mouse guy. But uh, you know, anyway, each of them has a lot of different features and options. And if you have any further questions, just email us, and we'll be glad to help you out.